Back now with a story of a maverick Midwest judge who is doing things his way. Some of his punishments involve a chicken costume and a 30 mile walk. But is this clever and effective or cruel and unusual? Here's ABC's TJ Holmes. Creative sentencing is standard in this Ohio courtroom. All right, please. This woman caught on surveillance tape walking into a Burger King and pepper spraying one of the workers in the face. She chose to get sprayed herself with what she thought was pepper spray. It was water. And you couldn't use a real pepper spray because you, no, you can't injure somebody. And now I am bucking heads with those law professors <laughs> when, when I use real pepper spray. Now we're getting into the cruel and unusual. This man chose public humiliation over jail time for soliciting a prostitute. Very humiliating, very embarrassing. An Ohio judge defending an unusual punishment. The teenager who skipped out on a cab fare. One of Judge Michael Ciccinetti's sentences going viral yeah. when he gave an 18 year old who stiffed a cab driver a choice. Spend 30 days in jail or walk 30 miles. She also had to pay the fare. I've never been to jail and I don't want to go to jail. But when did that idea pop into your head to, you know what I'm going to do with this girl? I'm going to make her walk. I don't know. It just came to me. So is he on to something? He says he sees far fewer repeat offenders than the national average. Jordan, you stole a bike. On the docket next, a bike theft. The judge offering the defendant the opportunity to ride in a local parade promoting a charity instead of jail time. You're going to have the, the choice of 60 days of jail. You can avoid that by 10 days of community work service. Along the parade route, cheers and high fives. I think it's better than going to jail because I can show people that I can do better in my community. Appreciative of a second chance. TJ Holmes, ABC News, Painesville, Ohio.